guys this is the epiphany today i'd like to show you a coliseum fight just accepted the fight we jumped into it facing an eneripsa sacria and sadida okay so sadida means mp parry is required unfortunately i do not have any mp parry ensembles uh i don't even have dorigami let's just check no, don't even have Dorogami, don't have MP Parry Trophy, so we just have to play as we are. This will not be easy. Um, I'm hoping that I can out-initiative them, because if I can't, that means the Sadi will be able to infect all three of me this turn. Okay, I could not out initiative him. And there's a full MP reduction Sadida as well. This is very dangerous. Hmm. Okay. And it rips his AP reduction. Sacks agility. Minus 3 MP on my rogue. Damn. And this ultra powerful is going to reduce even more. Okay, that's that's annoying. Get one MP from Abyssal. I think what I might do is rush in. Need to kill the tree and ultra powerful first though. I put my Fekka here so that I could shield both my Osa and my Rogue. Unfortunately, it does mean that the Wormling is trapped and it will probably be killed soon. So, not really sure what to do here. Oh, it's a Chance Sacrio. Oh, Chance and Agility. Okay. Minus him there. How did he only minus two? Should have minus three at least.
Let's see if he's gonna run in. Yep. That's gonna infect the wormling in my Osa, most likely. Okay. Minus two, okay. He's got my whole team infected now. Swap, swap the bomb and... Oh no, I'm in gravity state because of the Fekker's um, anorexia spell. Okay, nah, that's bad. Damn it. Best I can do, unfortunately. I should have thought about that when I used Ataraxia. I did double erosion on the Sadi and on the Annie, so that's good enough, I guess. Yep, it's a chance and a Ripsaw has a pretty high AP reduction, judging from his parries and looks like a Wu Kin set. Also has an Earth Dial on him. Kill this tree, I guess. And summon a second wormling. Actually, what I'll do is I'll undo which infection of the Fekka and of the Osa. Okay, it's gonna swap the rogue probably. Or... No, okay. Going for the rogue probably. Yeah, okay. That That's fine. I'll just. Um, I'll just heal that back up easily. That's fine. It's not very strong either, so. Alright, this turn I've got to screw the Annie and Sadi up. Oh, interesting. Okay, he's unlocked my rogue, so. Alright, go here. Attraction. Gravity, uh, Blindness Glyph first. Gravity Glyph and Blindness. Alright, Sadi is down to six, uh, 7 AP. He can't do much. Not to mention my Fekker is no longer infected. Oh, he just infected again. Okay, good. So now he can't do much. Maybe just Voodoo Curse or something. Yep, Voodoo Curse. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm going to full hit the Sally. It's only which the Sacrius buffs actually. Alright, now full hit the Sally. Alright, 
uh, right in the day as well. Sally is unbuffed now. Oh, sorry, Sakri is unbuffed. And a Ripster is locked there, so you can't do much except for right my Fekka. Yeah, there we go. All right, my Osa gets a clean turn on this Sally here, so hopefully we can do something. Now I'm thinking maybe my rogue didn't need to waste AP to unbewitch the Sacrio because my Wormling could have just done it now. Not not a big issue, however, so that's fine. Okay, let's just hit this. I'm going to run back a bit as well so the sack can't use me to light speed or whatever. Actually, I'll go here. Okay, then this woman goes here. Hits. Guess I'll just hit the Coney. Okay, and I'll stay here. He can go over the Wormling, I think. Yeah, then he'll be able to reach my rogue. Sacrifice? Yep, sacrifice. Alright, that's fine. Um, that's fine. That's no problem. I will barricade the rope probably. Go here to keep the study locked. It's got seven AP. From what I can see, he can't escape. He can't escape the grief of blindness. He can only move one. Okay, so it's just hitting like that. That's fine. Is it going to move? That's good, I can hit them both with area of effect. It would have been better if he stayed there because then I wouldn't have been able to do area of effect. Hmm. Okay. Well. Finish that off. And then this. Double deception. Good, now stay here. Hmm. Oh, that's annoying. All right, let's see.
see this Zachary is almost dead blood packed Yeah, that voodoo proc as well with the fire element. Every time it gets an MP reduction. It's going to use mutilation. Yeah, alright. Is my rogue infected? No, it's not. Okay. I've got two A. 2 AP. We'll have to rate the sack. Uh, sorry, 4 AP. We'll have to rate this, uh, the Sadi. Nothing else to do. Release. Partially locked by the Wormling. Uh, kills the wormling. Infects my rogue. Okay. Let's go here. Maybe I can finish the sack this turn. Sakura has way too much of vitality there. Rogue could be dead. Let's start by putting a Wormling. I don't think I can kill that, so... Uh, well, actually I might. I might. It, it'll be close. Let's see it. Alright, let's see. No, can't. It's close. Very close. Very, very close. He can't kill my rogue either though, so let's see what he does. Probably mutilation. Oh no mutilation. Okay. Unfortunately I think my rogue could be dead here. Yeah, he is dead. Alright, let's rape these two here. Hmm. Better safe than sorry, I'll just finish it off. Alright, it's a 2v2 now. Uh, after he kills my rogue, of course. 2v2. My feck is not infected anymore. My Ogster is not infected. So 
He's thinking who to infect. Yeah, if I infect the Fekker. Yeah, finish that off. Okay. I think it's winnable, but it's going to be close because um, he is eroded down to 2.5k. It's definitely winnable. Oh, release. Alright. Well, if he's gonna do that, then I'll just hit up here. Uh, okay. Let's just do damage. Teleport up here. Steward everyone. I'm guessing he's going to use Contagion. Oh, that's inoculation. That works as well. So now he has the surrounding infected. Spamming Bane for heals. Rampart blocks quite a lot of damage in that case, so uh, I'm happy about that. And considering his any seems to be full chance, doesn't really have much direct heals on the Sadi. Okay, he's killed the Wormling. Luckily for me, I have two summoning slots available, so I'll just put them. Or oh, prevent. Yeah, prevent. All right. So he pushed the uh, Fekker so that when I hit the Sadi, it won't heal him. Oh, uh, heal my Fekker. So I can easily work around that. Just put the summon there. Relay my Fekker next to it. And then there, there I am. I'll just put another summon. Just close a Wormling. Hit that. Okay. Now hitting will heal the Fekker. All right, can I kill this? Yes, I can. All right, GG. It was a close fight. They killed my rogue, and it was just a pretty annoying fight in general. They had AP reduction and MP reduction. Just, uh... Speaking in French, I don't understand what that means. I'm not going to even bother to translate or anything. Reason I do Colo primarily is to earn Colo tokens and also to upload videos on YouTube. So, you know, if if I get trash talked or I'm not saying it is trash talk, but if it, you know, some sort of comments against me, I don't care. Sadi or would kill Rube, oppress and recon Sadi. Whatever. Alright guys, that was the fight. This is probably one of the more interesting fights that I get. For a start, it lasted 24 minutes. It was pretty close. Um, they had MP and AP reduction, which is pretty powerful. 
Still managed to play smart and win it, however. So I'm happy about that. Uh, let me know what you think about the fight, and I'll see you at the next video.